In this video, I show you two ways to make oval trays. The first way, I am centering a very small little disc. Um, I leave the bottom roughly about half an inch thick, three eighths to a half an inch thick, and then I'm cutting it. And with this thick little bottom, I'm going to now stretch it by kind of uh, holding it and uh, pulling it as I'm kind of throwing it a little bit on a canvas surface so it kind of grips it. It has formed it into a nice little oval. The edges are quite thick. I will clean that up. This is going to be a tray for my shakers, which I threw in a different video. And I just try to make sure it looks nice and uh, rounded the way I need it to be. The second way that I'm going to show you, this is also going to be thrown as a little tray. Base is a little bit thinner on this. In this case, it's probably a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch. So a little bit thinner than the first one. Now I'm going to cut it, but notice that I've put water under the edge. So as I cut it, I have encouraged water to go underneath the edge of the piece. Now I'm going to create a dart. The dart is going to be shaped like a leaf. First of all, I'm going to draw it with a needle tool so I can make it symmetrical. You could, of course, have a paper pattern that you use to make sure that your dart is even if you would like. And then once I have it drawn, uh, notice that I do have a center line there. Once I have it drawn, I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to cut the dart at a bevel. Notice that I'm holding my knife at an angle and I hold my knife at the same angle when I cut either side. Now I'll remove that uh, little piece in the middle there. I'm going to cut it again, and then I'm going to, again, encouraging a little bit of water to go underneath it when I cut it. And now I'm going to prep the edges by scoring. Uh, and I'm also going to add a little bit of slip there with my sponge or a paintbrush. And then after I have it scored and slipped on both sides, I'm going to encourage it together. Now I want to go slowly because I don't want to um, cause any cracking on the edge there. So I moved it to canvas now so I can uh, work with it a little bit more without it being so wet underneath. And I'm just going to gently blend over the seam with my fingers. And then I'm going to just tidy it all up with a sponge, again, making sure that the edges are rounded the way that I want it to be before I allow it to get leather hard. And I will be cleaning both of these forms when they're leather hard, which is coming next. I showed you two different ways that you can make a very small little oval tray on the potter's wheel. In the first one, I made a thick little piece of clay. I actually left some throwing rings in there and then I stretched it. So this is the one where I stretched it. The second method that I showed you was throwing a round tray, cutting a leaf shaped dart from the middle and then sliding it together. Remember when you slide it together, you have to have water underneath it in order to slide it. So I wanted to show you how I'm going to go about just kind of tidying up both of these today because they were uh, both kind of on the messy side yesterday. So this one is the one that I slid and the bottom doesn't look so hot on that. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to rib and compress. The seam actually went together a little bit better than I had uh, thought it might right there. Um, I am working on a little piece of foam right now because the clay is still soft and I didn't want to dent the, the edges by setting it or kind of turning it on the edges. And for this one, I don't have that much to take off. I'm just going to scrape it with a little metal, metal rib or metal scraper. And then I'm going to switch to one of the silicone scrapers. When you switch to one of these, sometimes it's helpful just to add a little bit of moisture to your edge of your rib when you do it. And then lastly, I think I'll actually just use some wet fingers. And that will help smooth down any irregularities that you have. And then okay. this one, for this one I am gonna take down a little bit of the thickness with a sure form also known as a shredder. Sureform is probably just a brand name. The shredders are, uh, this particular shredder I love. This is a Mud Tools 
uh, shredder. Love these. Cheryl Mud Tools. I'll put a link in the uh, in the video description. There we go. So I took off a little bit of the extra edge. And then... Oh, and the ribs are also Cheryl Mud Tools. I did not mention that. I've just, I've used them for years. I've never received any, you know, product for saying what I say, but I do love their tools. I think they're superior over the, um, the little blue ribs that you see out there. I'm not going to mention the name of the company, but those of you who have them know what I'm talking about. All right, so that's how I clean up the edges of the oval trays. So I decided to go ahead and put handles on this, uh, the, the tray that I cleaned up with the leaf shaped dart. I've rolled uh, two coils, same length, and I'm just going to flatten them on my canvas and then once they're flattened I'm just gonna kind of sculpt it a little bit with the top kind of compress it make it look nice and even okay so I have two little strap handles made and I will be attaching them just kind of up and kind of sticking outward a little bit on this maybe maybe I'll put it a little bit from the inside as long as the shakers still fit yeah I'll try it like that so as let me just check the fit of the shakers that still works nicely okay now the strap handles themselves are quite a bit wetter than the actual tray so I'm just going to grab my heat gun or you could use a hair dryer. So I'm going to pop these off and try to keep the same contour that they currently have. Here's a tip. Uh, the end of a heat gun, if you're using a heat gun, gets very, very hot. So when you go to set it down, watch what you're setting it on. You don't want to set it on something that's flammable. I'm going to just, I like to set it in a pot that I have nearby uh, that won't uh, cause any danger of flaming or anything okay. like that. My handles are a little bit stiffer, so now I can attach them. Remember that you want to score and slip both th surfaces when you go to put it together. Add a little bit of water for slip, or of course you can dip your uh, your brush into your slip bucket if you would like. Now that I have both of the handles attached, I need to do a little cleanup. So I'm going to take my paintbrush with a little bit of water and clean that up all the way around. And this is a fun part. You could certainly do something decorative on the handle. It's going to draw a little bit of a tension away from the connection. And there we go. There's my shakers now sitting on the oval tray. I hope you enjoyed the video on how to throw the uh, two different types of oval trays on the wheel. I hope you found them beneficial. And please um, like my video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe if you'd like to get um, more video updates when I um, add any. And if you uh, look at the end, I will also put links to some of the other helpful videos.